All right, today's video is a bit impromptu. It's about uh, Beats Flight 4, which is a new firmware that's not quite released yet. It's still in pre-release. It's due to come out in January. But you can get it on the test branches, so I thought it might be a good idea to give it a test run. For those of you that don't know what Betaflight is, it's basically a operating system or a firmware similar to like your iOS or your Android on a phone or Windows or Linux or whatever on a computer. There's a few solutions out there at the moment. There's Betaflight and Butterflight, and they kind of they're quite similar, they use the same code base, there's like an open source code base, but they're still fighting about certain GPL licenses. There's Race Flight and Flight One. Now they're sort of in the same situation, they're fighting about the same thing. And um, yeah, so there's kind of like you could see these as like the sort of Android or the Linux because they're sort of the, the open source, which means that people can come in and change them, and that's how you get things like Butterflight. I think Beta Flight itself was a fork of another project called Clean Flight, I believe. Uh, so yeah, and then there's also KISS, which is kind of like a different thing altogether. That's kind of like Apple, I suppose. KISS are kind of like Apple because, uh, you know, it's all closed source. It only works on very specific flight controllers and ESCs, and people that use it think that it's like the second coming of Christ. So I guess it sort of has all the same things as Apple. And as a sort of like ex-Apple fanboy who uses iPhones still and iPads, I should probably give it a go because I think it probably would be kind of up my street just to be able to plug it all in and it just works. So, Betaflight has a new version of their firmware coming out in January, which is 4.0, and it's supposed to be quite good. Now, I usually use uh, Butterflight. Um, that's what I've been using for the past few months, and that's only available on certain boards as well, but... Uh, all my Betaflight boards are now broken, so I thought it would be a good chance to try out Betaflight and see where they are. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show sort of a un, sort of unedited clip of the first time uh, me trying it out after using Betaflight for a few months. Okay, it arms quicker. That's for sure. All right, here we go. Um, yes, come on. Chill flight for a bit. Try some rolls. Feels very snappy. Much snappier than before. There's like a judder at the end, but it's definitely less um, less bounce back. Um, yeah, it feels really, really crisp. too crisp. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, the judder is crazy. Um, this is default, so everything is stuck. All the pits are stuck, just the rates have changed. And yeah, I, don't, I think the, the hush stops are really obvious. But I was using a Helio spring before, which is Butterfly, so they actually have a different way of doing pits. Um, than beta flight. So it's been a while since I've used a beta flight board. Uh, however, this is the Foxeer F405. I will say that the, the power handling is amazing. Like the video is super clean. That was actually more of a problem on the Helio. It used to get some video noise when you're, when you're throttling up. But, well, as for the beta flight 4, uh, yeah, I mean, that bounce is weird out of the box. I wonder if that's something to do with my setup. My quad is quite heavy, and my rates are quite high, so it might be I need to tune it. But it works, which is good. Yeah, that prop wash handling feels really good, actually. I expected a lot more isolation there. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. I don't know what they're doing there, but that's clever. Just those rolls and um, there's not too much nose bounce, but there's just that real judder on the roll. That feels like the only issue, really. But 
It's not bad. Not bad at all. It is pre-release, so probably going to get better as well. But yeah, I just need to work on my roll rate, uh, roll pids, I think. I guess the the other thing is the gyro rate on the Helio was I had it on 16, 32, 16. Whereas this is 8, 2, because that's the stock. So that might be having a, an impact as well. But yeah, not a bad uh, first go. Not bad. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't turn the GoPro on. <laughs> That's all going to be DVR. Oh well. Right. And then the next flight will be with the GoPro. Whee! This is so so snappy. What do I prefer, butterfly or beta fly? Whoa, tough question. There's not much in it these days. They're all really good. Um, but yeah, this definitely feels crisper. But it has that sort of that really aggressive judder when you don't when you hit the roll and don't end smoothly. If you end really abruptly, it has this crazy judder. Whereas with Butterfly, it was a lot smoother, but there was a bit more bounce back, but it felt softer. I'm sure that can be tuned, but this is stuck. The whole point is running it straight out of the box, not changing any values. So I probably shouldn't fly over trees because it's unreleased firmware. So what did I think? I suppose you can see that I was quite happy with how it was holding up. Um, I don't think I flew it enough. I crashed and broke a motor pretty quickly. So I couldn't make like a proper review, but my first impressions are that they're doing something pretty magical with the prop wash. It basically disappears. I've never seen that before on any, uh, any version of Beta Flight or Butterfly that I've tested. That is crazy. Um, yeah, the, just the, the little oscillation stuff on the rolls, which is probably due to my setup, means that you could tune it out. Same as anything else, but I think the, the cool thing is trying these things out as stock, just to see how they handle different uh, uh, different setups. So my setup is a Armatan Rooster. It's 680 grams all up weight, so it's really heavy. And I have my rates at around 1,070 on the pitch and roll and about eight to nine hundred eight six five on the yacht so knowing that you can get an idea of like how stuck beta flight 4 handles on a heavy freestyle quad with quite twitchy rates so there we go so will i switch mm, maybe i don't know too early to tell too early to say yes no mm, yeah i mean i'm going to keep it on there for now because i don't have any other butterfly boards that are working um, but I've still got Butterfly in my 3 inch and I kind of want to try KISS as well. I mean, you can't really say which one's best unless you've tried them all, right? So I've got to get a Flight 1 board and a KISS board and try them all. But yeah, I think Beta Flight is, it, the way that they're doing that prop watch thing just seems like they've got some really special source now. So definitely keep an eye on it. If you don't use Beta Flight yet, when 4.0 comes out, I recommend that we sort of all give it a go and uh, see if that prop watch is truly gone. Yeah, so that's kind of a first impression. It's a bit of an impromptu video, really. I wasn't gonna do one today, but I thought, well, it'd be nice to just catch like a candid, like a candid thought about what um, what Beat of Flight Four is like. So I made sure that I was filming um, when I first took off. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. And bye bye.